family. Hey, it is June the 28th. Today is Wednesday and it is 2.25 in the p.m. And I have come on to speak about the Wendy Williams show. I watched it today and when I tell you it was so good. It was so good. Wendy, you did an awesome show today. It was a good show today. However, I have a few things that I really want to touch on. Okay, and I'm saying this in a, you know, I guess, uh, I guess this is considered as constructive criticism because I truly mean no harm, but it's like I've been watching your show from the very beginning. I live here on the West Coast. I'm straight out of Compton. I live in the IE now. Okay, and so I didn't, I wasn't privileged to your radio show. Um, back in the day when you were on radio, but I caught on when you came on on the uh, talk show circuit, and so that's where my um, that's where my introduction to you and what you do um, came about. And I've been a faithful watcher. I've been watching your show since the beginning, six to six week turn up, and I have to say that Wendy, listen. The last, now today's show was good, okay, I, but I'm going to touch on that in a minute. But I want to talk about a few things that, you know, I, I just I just think that it's, it's, it's not very nice, okay, to just, to just be nice about it. Some of the shit you do ain't real nice, Wendy. A lot of the things that you do, you know, and it's like um, that clap if you guys are going to watch this show. Clap if you're going to buy this album. Clap if you support so-and-so. Clap it. And then when they don't agree with you, then therefore, oh, you're not mic You don't have a mic. No way. Sit down, sir. Sit down, ma'am. You just wanted to be on TV. Sit down. Sit down. Okay, well, Wendy, look here. Now, there's one thing to use your platform for love and light. Then there's the next thing to use it for dark and shadows. You know what I'm saying? And it, it seems like... It's a very, it, it, well, let me say, first, it is a very successful show. In my opinion, I feel as though your show is very successful. You're good at what you do. However, I just feel like, can we talk about the good things that some people do? Do we always have to talk about, you know, the drama and spilling the tea on somebody and, you know, talking about the shadows of others? Because let me tell you something, Wendy. When you're sitting up and you're talking about the shadows of other people and you're talking about, you know, just like the other day, you was like the, uh, somebody going to end up on the have-nots or whatever. It's like you throw shots. You throw shots at a lot of people. And it's on a daily, daily basis, you know. And it's like, but then we as viewers, and me, I'm a Virgo through and through. It's, on my, it's, it's, it's in my chart about four times. Okay, I'm very grounded and I'm a realist. Okay, and I mean no tea, no shade, no none of that old type of shit. But I'm just saying right now, though, do we have to talk about the shadows of others? But you're not sharing your shadows because it's little bitty things that you say that is 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 speaking a volume to us as viewers. Now here a couple weeks ago it was Father's Day. You went out with your partner, which was a beautiful thing. But hell, you could have went out with your partner on a different weekend, but you chose Father's Day weekend, which spoke volume. Then when you came back on Monday, you was like, well, um, I don't know what he did. He went to a barbecue or whatever, but I spent it with my girlfriend, and I ain't seen her for you. Which, that was cool. Everybody was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. But this is Father's Day, and this is the father of your son. Okay, and then every other day you talk about how you don't like kids and you call your son the boy, which a lot of us is trying to figure out like, wow, I have two sons and a daughter. Okay, it's me plus three. Okay, and whatever my children do is, you know, it's their life lessons to learn. And not only that, but it's my job to support them unconditionally and to love them unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? They're not objects. They are my children. I gave birth to them, okay? So when you say that, it's like, wow. You know, I don't know if, because I am an empath, okay? I don't know if um, you're just not empathetic. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Or if the fact that you're just not really happy. And it's starting to show. And it's starting to show almost every show. So, 
I'm going to need your camp. If that's not what you want to put out there, it's reaping in volume, okay? One day you went off on, you know, the the, the, the lady that, you know what I'm saying, is, is, you know, clapping for the audience, the producer of the show. Um, I guess, I think you did say that she's a producer. I don't know, respectfully. And I mean no shade, no harm, no nothing. I just don't really know exactly what her position is on the show. But I believe that you stated that she was a producer or something. And, you know, and, and the lady is very nice. And it, it seems as though every day everybody is there to please you and every beck and call. I understand that you are the boss. This is your show. Your name is on the, you know what I'm saying, what's the, what's the name? But... You're coming off as very, very abrasive, very, very hypocritical, and very, very sad, and very, very dark, and unhappy. Really. I'm serious, Wendy. I'm, I'm serious. And every day is coming out more and more and more and more. And it seems like you have this strong vendetta against the Kardashians, and it's like, Why? You know, you want to talk about all the negative stuff and all, oh, well, she got robbed and this and this and this. And, mm, mm. But when when the insurance paperwork came out, because you and I both know you can't lie and say I had this right here without having some receipts. So all that shit that was stole from her, she put it out there. I got the receipts on mine and it's on my insurance claim holler. You know what I'm saying? But last week, you neglected to mention that Kim made $14 million in one day. Okay, it's been estimated 14 million in one day, but every day you come on and it's like you're throwing pot shots at them. You're throwing shots at the Kardashians every day. Okay, and whomever else. I understand now you're getting a little alliance with Remy Ma. I have nothing bad to say. I don't really know too much about what she rap about or whatever. I just caught in on the beef that she was having with Nicki Minaj. But hell, I'm from the West Coast. I'm straight out of Compton. You know what I'm saying? So I, I respect Remy Ma. I think she's a beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? You know, her body is bad as fuck regardless of whatever what somebody say. I respect her and her craft. I love her black love with her husband. All that is real cool. But it's almost seem as though you're trying to gravitate to alliances nowadays. Because a lot of people ain't really fucking with you. And it's showing that a lot of people ain't fucking with you. You know what I mean? And it's like... Okay. Everything that you are doing was already done by the Kardashians. They're not getting no credit... But low-key, you giving them credit because you speaking them every day. You throwing pot shots at them every day on what they doing. Scott doing this. Kim got that doing. Chloe doing this. You know what I'm saying? The mama this, that, and this. But low-key, the mama ain't doing nothing but what any other mother would do is support her children. I don't understand. I don't get it. She's a business lady. What is the problem? You are also a business lady. Okay? You're a business lady. And so... Regardless to how this videotape, that shit is a mute point nowadays on the tape and all. That shit is so over yesteryear. That shit is played the fuck out. Okay, so what? She did that with Ray J. It's a whole bunch of chicks out here. You know what I'm saying? They fucking for $3. They, they fucking for a, 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 some black and miles and some cool 100s. You know what I'm saying? Strawberry Hill and whatever the hell else they getting down on some brown. Okay? But so what? She did that. It catapulted her on to own some more. She's on wealth. She surpassed riches, okay? And it seems as though as much as you've put in, as much work and everything that you've put in on radio, that's reality. Isn't that reality radio? You don't want people clapping and you downplaying people on getting on reality TV. But hell, you spent half of your career, majority of it, well, pretty much 90% of it, talking down about people and talking about other people's reality and their downfalls and shortcomings. But if somebody get on reality TV, don't clap for that. Oh, no, don't clap. Don't clap for that. What, what, Wendy? Why? And this is every day. Every day you're doing this. You know, when, you know, there's so much to be said and there's so much of a hush. I bet Charlamagne got so much shit to say. I didn't buy the book, but I heard the book was fire. And I'm certain a whole bunch of people over there on the East Coast got a whole bunch of shit to say about the things that you have done, the things that your husband have done. Hello, somebody. Come on. 
all that bullshit. But you want to rake all that. We ain't talking about me. We talking about uh, y'all. Hey, y'all come on my hot topics to see what I'm talking about about the rest of these motherfuckers. Don't talk about what's going on in my house. But you putting it out there on what's going on in your house, though. You putting it out there on what's going on in your house. Now, um, I remember one time they were saying Judge Mathis, you know, tied one on on Wendy. I haven't seen that interview. I ain't seen. I ain't seen the write up. I ain't seen nothing about that. So I don't know anything about that. But today I watched. Lamar Odom. And when I tell you that was one of the best organic interviews that I've seen in a long time, your emotions were so real with him. Though you wouldn't allow him to answer his questions like he wanted to, you stopped him. And everybody that's watching, when y'all rewatch that shit, watch it. When he's getting ready to say something, she keep on talking. So then therefore, he can't get out exactly what it is that he want to convey. It was almost as though... You wanted him to talk about, you know, the bad things about the Kardashian clan. You wanted him to come back and say, Chloe was this, this, and this, and Kim then was that, this, and this, and, you know, uh, every man that, you know, that has come into the Kardashian clan is, you know, is twisted out or whatever. Well, had you ever thought that maybe a lot of these people had these things going on far before, you know what I'm saying, far before they got on reality TV? You know what I'm saying? I'm certain Lamar Odin was, was, you know, was fighting his demons before he met Chloe. You know what I'm saying? That's just a woman in, in, in his path that he ended up meeting and he put it out there. He approached her. You didn't want that shit out like you said. Did they scouting NBA players or whatever? I mean, hell, the women look very good. All of them do. The mama is really bad to the bone. Okay? Chris is flawless. Okay? Flawless. You know it, and everybody else knows it. But you're not going to, you don't want to give no credit on that. You want to talk about the shade. You want to talk about what they, you know what I'm saying, what they're doing and want to, you know, uh, snicker and laugh and all that old type of stuff. But you're not talking about what's going on in your home. And what's going on in your home is evidently real, real thick because people that are hurting tend to hurt other people. And for every little, you know, dart that you're throwing at them, let me tell you something. I bet you everybody around you write up clauses. That's why you always talk about the boogeyman coming, the killer, and all that kind of shit. Because, yes, it is apparent that you live as a hermit. You know what I'm saying? You don't go out and about too much. Because you talking and biting at the wind at everybody so much, you don't know what the fuck is going on out here. Like how Safari low-key tried to catch a fade the other day. They didn't really mop him up real tough. But I think that is your worry. That is that one of these times you're going to be out there. But see, you talking about Kim Nim, but they roll in private jets though, Wendy. They roll, in, they roll in private jets now. See, they surpass riches. They're on some wealth shit now. You know, now you saying that Puffy's going to be on the show tomorrow. Now, didn't y'all have beef back in the day? But okay, now, okay, it's about ratings or whatever. Yes, he need to promote his new documentary coming out. So it's benefiting you for him to have him on your show. So then therefore you can put it on your YouTube and all. I got your hustle, okay? But last I checked, didn't Kim come out with emojis and shit first? Clothing lines and all that old type of shit. Now she's on the makeup and all this other shit, Wendy. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't getting no credit on that. But you want to talk about and downplay them on every show. And I'm truly not understanding that. I understand your beef about Bill Cosby. I know you were saying that he tried to get you off the air or something sometime back or whatever. So I understand you got a, you know, a little vendetta against him or whatever. But I watched the show yesterday as well. And it was a sister wanting to, you know, say, okay, let's forgive and forget. Okay, he did that. All of us know for him to have been accused by so many women, everybody ain't lying on Bill. Okay, everybody know that. Okay, he done done some, he done done some, you know, some crazy shit to his wife. We all know that, Wendy, but I'm certain your husband done done some crazy shit to you. Probably not to that magnitude, okay? I've been married myself. I was married over 20 years, and my husband did me a doulo, okay? So then, therefore, you know, why are you bringing all this shit to the forefront, but then when somebody starts talking about you, oh, sit down, ma'am. I'm certain this people done set up, st stood up in that audience and low-key said some shit about you, and they probably cut that shit out, or we got to rerun that day. You know what I'm saying? So, Wendy, I'm just saying, though, can we calm down on that right there? Because the more you talking about the Kardashian clan, baby, they making more money than the Lau Lau. You know what I'm saying? They own wealth. 
There is a difference between rich and wealth because see the rich, they speak in volume, okay? But the wealth, they move about their path at a whisper. There is a profound difference, okay? Now, I understand that you are on your way. You got shit in place to make that happen so that you can become on some wealth status. Seem like to me, by now, you should be. As much years as you done put in on radio and this and this and this with the show and all this other kind of shit. But God ain't gonna cover it. And he's not gonna uphold shenanigans. You know what I'm saying? And when you do good, you get good. You know what I mean? So then, therefore, while you out here and you constantly... Putting down people. You know, I've done some real shady shit in my lifetime. I've done some crazy shit that I've had to pay for. I've had karmic relationships and karmic situations that have come back on me that hit me in my ass. So today, I'm very, very humble. I got a little humble, little humble surroundings. I'm just as humble. I'm not fucking with nobody. And I'm, I'm waiting on God to bring me exactly what it is that I deserve. And as long as I'm putting out good works, I'm standing in total faith that he's going to bring me what I need. And it's going to be on a 10 type of factor. You understand? It's going to equal a win. Hashtag shining. Okay? Yeah. Now, see, um... Beyonce and them, you low-key want to talk about them. Talk about their daddy and all that shit. But I see you ain't talked about they got a $70 million budget and they can't find no home because the homes that they looking at is $150 million plus. You understand? That's wealth, mama. That's what wealth is. And I know you probably feeling it with your way or whatever, whatever. But Wendy, what is it that you really like? What are you into? What is it that you like? Because... You don't want to eat no meat, look like you need to, and that's no no shade, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times when a person needs to eat and, they, and their uh, blood sugar is off, sometimes they can say and do some things that ain't always cool. You know what I'm saying? And maybe you need to eat a little bit, so then therefore you'll calm the fuck down and stop trying to be so mean to people every day. Because it's so unbecoming. You're a very beautiful lady. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit microbladed as well. But last week you came on there talking about on how people getting their shit microbladed and they want to pay $50 or whatever they paying or whatever, whatever. You're throwing pot shots at people, pot shots at people every day. So I understand why you're in full security. You got to be. Because some of these people out here ain't going for the bullshit. And they want to run up on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm certain that there's, I'm certain throughout the course of your career, it's been people been wanting to run up on you so bad and say a whole bunch of shit, but they're not invited to your show. I remember, um, who was it? Um, who was that? I think that was, um, uh, what's her name? Amarosa. Well, something like that. I can't think of how her name go out. I think it is Amarosa. I don't want to say it in, in error or whatever, because I, I, I'm, you know, I don't mean no disrespect on her name and nothing like that. But, yeah, she is one that really put you in your place one day. I mean, and that, that right there, I mean, I, I'm, that shit went viral. Because motherfuckers was like, somebody actually stood up to Wendy. And it's like, it's like, because... I understand people are trying to get their shit off. Hell, my YouTube, it struggles, you know what I'm saying? My YouTube ain't on what your YouTube is on. But still, you know, I'm rejoicing in, in, in the crowd that, that gather around me. My vibe is creating my tribe. So the people that I reach, I'm thankful for that. No, I don't have a million subscribers. No, I don't have none of that. But I got 15 million views, and I'm happy about that. You know what I'm saying? Let me be glad in that. Let me rejoice in that. I got 35,000 surprises. Well, actually 36. Holla. And I'm so happy about it. Then therefore, I know that the people that have subscribed to my channel, channel, they genuinely are, you know, for my well-being and exactly, you know, they, they they part of my tribal members. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, I'm okay with that. And I didn't have to buy none either. I didn't have to, not, not saying that you did. I'm just saying. I didn't have to buy no Instagram followers. I ain't bought no Twitter flow, uh, followers, no no YouTube. I ain't never had to do no crazy shit, no shenanigans shit to get people to like me or to come upon my shit. They just came because they wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Let me go over here and see what this crazy that lady talking about on today. Because I be on some Millie Jackson shit every day. That's, how, that's, that's what mine is, okay? And you know what? Hey, God did not bring forth perfect people for imperfect people. No, he brings imperfect people to... Call upon more imperfect people so we can get our shit together, together. You understand? So, I'm okay with it. My mouth, I talk like a sailor. 
I try to corral it. I know that it's not for everybody, but guess what? For my vibe, it's bringing forth my tribe. They understand me. You know what I'm saying? I'm reaching a certain type of audience that understand, and they cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, some audiences, they might not roll with that, and that's okay. My shit is on some Bill Maher shit anyway. My shit need to be on um, HBO, Stars, uh, you know, Comedy Central. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's that other one? Um, Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I'm open to receive. Yeah, let me just go and put that in the universe that I'm open to receive, Father God. Yes. So, on that note, though, Wendy, I just want to say that I support you. I support your clothing line. I support what you're doing. I think that you are a beautiful lady, okay? But being on here and being catty and, and, and backbiting and talking about these people every day, it's getting old at this point in time. And this man basically, in his, oh my God, the things that he said were so eloquently spoken. You know, let's just talk how he, you know what I'm saying, was giving props. He was like, you know what, deep down inside, everybody, all of us know, he really loves Chloe. You know what I'm saying? But she had to push past that, past that because she's like, okay, I've done all I can do. You know what I'm saying? Our love, it was what it was, and now I'm further and I'm going further on my path. Be it that she fucks with soccer players, football players, basketball players, a golfman, whatever her get down is, so what? She has no children. So what? You want to let it be known about a fake pregnant? So what? That's between her and her husband. What is that? To put it out there so people can be talking about it like my motherfucking ass. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I don't think many women really cared about that. But it was just the fact that you was trying to bring light to some situations. And like, you know, low-key you want to, you know, throw daggers at Kanye. That's between him and Kim. Okay? That's between them. The man is obviously battling some things. My mama died the day before his mama died. So I understand his pain. Okay? So when people have lost their parents... Okay, it's, 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 it's more than a notion. That's a pain that cannot, oh, it's unfathomable. You know what I'm saying? That's a pain that, oh my God, you can't even put it on a scale, you know? And so, so what? But that's between them. That's what he got. I, I saw the other day he came out get, grinning and cackling and grinning and hugging his partners and all that old type of shit. You didn't talk about that though, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? They had gave a birthday party for Chloe and it was very nice. You know what I'm saying? You didn't speak about that. But you wanted Lamar to come in and say and dish some dirt on them. And uh, Lamar, listen, listen, Lamar, man, oh, my God. It was just, oh, my God, it was heartfelt. I, shared a few, I just shed a few tears because your interview was so organic. You didn't throw your ex-wife up under the bus nor her family. You know what I'm saying? You show profound hurt that you miss Rob. You know what I'm saying? That you probably would like to have a better relationship with Kanye. You put it out there that, you know, you need to strengthen your relationship with your son and daughter. That was some beautiful stuff. That was good stuff. You know what I mean? Wendy, but no, you still want to go back and when he want to elaborate on what he want to elaborate on, then now it's time to change the subject. Okay, it's time to keep this interview going. It's time. We got to keep this rolling. You know what I'm saying? Instead of allowing him to vent on his own. You put him on your show for the ratings. You put him on your show. Your team got him on the show for your YouTube channel and all that old type of shit. So I'm putting you on my YouTube channel for a little. So I can, can I get a little monetization on my shit now too? Since that's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Since that's what it's about. You know? But mama, look at here. Continue to make your money. You probably feel it with your way about the mama thing. Oh, you don't call me mama. You don't call me ma'am. That's like saying broad. What is that? Oh, that's ghetto. Whatever. I'm, I'm from Compton. And I'm real about mine. Okay? I mean no harm, no foul about calling you mama. What's up, girl? Hey, girl. Hey. It's whatever. You know what I'm saying? I mean no disrespect. I understand your name is Wendy, Mrs. Hunter. You're Mrs. Hunter when you want to be Mrs. Hunter. Look like. Because when it was Father's Day, last I checked, Women that had husbands and all that old type of shit and kids in the home and all that old type of shit, they was doing that thing together. Be it they was at hometown buffet, Chipotle, or whatever they get down was, church chicken, whatever they get down was. They did that. But you took the liberty to go out with your partner. That's why y'all missed that flight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? Listen, God is watching and karma is a motherfucker. 
You know what I'm saying? Karma is a motherfucker. So just watch where you step. This is no threat or nothing like that because I have no harm against you whatsoever. And I don't want no harm coming against you. Please, let me be crystal clear. Okay? I have no beef, no none of that. I don't have no iron to fire, iron not, none of that shit. I ain't trying to throw no none of that. I'm just being real about that. Yeah, I understand why you be so worried about the killer and you be so worried about this and that and this. Because, yeah, you afraid that somebody is going to trip you up somewhere, going to say some crazy shit to you. And I'm, I'm certain people probably do. But one more again, you probably live a real hermit life. You know what I'm saying? You can't really move and shake and go about this motherfucker. And then, when people get invited to shit, they don't invite you nowhere. Maybe that's what the problem is, too. You mad because motherfuckers ain't inviting you nowhere. Why? Because you want to throw shade on motherfuckers come Monday. It's going to be a hot hot, uh, a hot topic Monday. We're going to talk about everything and everybody. What is that, mama? You making money off of stepping on people and fucking up people's money. You know what I'm saying? What kind of shit is that, Wendy? How you sleeping at night? How you doing? So on that note, I'm out of here. You have a good one. And enjoy your money. Keep making your motherfucking money. From HSN to your emojis and all that other shit. I see you trying to... You worse than motherfucking DJ Khaled. Okay, look. Check this out. I got this jumpsuit on today. Look at what I'm rocking today. My emojis, it got me and my friends. So is that going to soften it up? Because you was at... Uh, Tamar's garage and you know what I'm saying her shit was a shrine. I love me some Tamar But I see how you putting you know you throwing people's names out there to make people more relatable and make me people soften up about you But you you turn around and you give a compliment, but on the back end you throwing some bullshit on somebody You know what I'm saying is it a couple of or there's a cup of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like motherfuckers is every day is getting a front row seat to a shit show on how you gonna talk about the Kardashians, who fucking who, so and so is having an affair. Oh, I got receipts. Then you start showing motherfuckers. I mean, come on, Wendy. Damn, every day, every day. And I know what you're saying. You ain't got to watch my shit. You're right. Sometimes I miss it. You know what I'm saying? But when I catch the shit on YouTube, I do a lot of the commercials to play because I do understand that you need to make your money. You know what I'm saying? So then therefore, I support you. I support what you're doing. But all I'm asking, though, no, from sister to sister, it's motherfuckers out here real doing some cool shit. Why don't you bring some of these sisters on your show on from YouTube and, and all this whole type of shit and bring some sisters on your show that's doing some real cool shit that's not in the entertainment business. It's a whole bunch of them out there doing a whole bunch of shit. But now that's not what you're trying to promote. You, you want motherfuckers to totally agree with what you're talking about. And when they don't agree with what you're talking about, sit down, sir. Sit down, ma'am. You're not my thug. This is my show. I'm Wendy. I'm Wendy Hunter. Okay. All right. Okay, Wendy. Okay. On that note, how you doing? Okay. How you really doing, girl? Really. How you really feeling? Okay. Because beyond all of that, beyond the cosmetics, eyelashes, the blonde hair, because last I checked, motherfuckers were saying that you was trying to do that shit on some old... Because Beyonce was, you know, rocking that blonde, that 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 honey blonde. That wasn't that number, uh, Clairol number 26 back in the day, honey blonde? Yeah. So then therefore, it's like, you know what? I don't know, mama. You know what I'm saying? And I don't, I, don't, I don't mean that in no disrespectful way. I say that again because, you know, different places people take shit different ways. So I don't mean that in no type of way. But, girly, look, check this out, though. Get it together. Get it together. Because otherwise, it's going to be more motherfuckers talking about you, talking about your home, talking about your husband, talking about your son, and all that old type of shit. Motherfuckers remember when he, you know what I'm saying, was smoking weed or whatever, and you wanted to make it seem like it was artificial weed. I don't know what the fuck artificial weed is. But I know I live here in California, IA, baby. And I, you know what I'm saying, hey, it's about, I'm about that life. I just put that out there. I'm about that life, and I got my card. You understand me? Okay, so then therefore, A, hey, you know what I'm saying? He got it on us. You, okay, he got it on us. You know what I mean? So, all right, mom, I'm gone. You have an awesome day. Do your thing, girl. Out.